up title. We got our board briefing Thursday, March 4th. Warm up. We got an AMRAP for quality, 30 bicycle crunches, 20 curtsy lunges, and then five inchworms. Right? Then we have a little strength, uh, a little time on the tension piece. We're going to do a goblet squat hold for 30 seconds, and then immediately after, you'll do 20 Russian swings. Okay, and that's with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. And then rest 30 seconds and repeat five times. All right, we got our a workout. We got an alternating EMOM today. Minute one, we got 30 seed skaters. Minute two, 30 jackknives. Minute three, 40 double unders. Minute four, we'll rest. I'm way down here at the bottom, our lonely finisher. Uh, door frame stretch for our pecs. Okay, so a minute on each side and then a minute uh, each side for the pigeon pose. Let's just talk about uh, AMRAP, right? We are warming up. It's not necessarily for rounds and reps, right? We're just a prolonged period of time of just moving through um, some, some pieces here. So we got the bicycle crunch. Let's remember not to really reef on our neck, right? We're just trying to reach our elbow to our opposite knee through a crunch on the floor. And then we got some curtsy lunges with all the um, box step ups and squats yesterday. Um, we're gonna loosen up our hips a little bit by stepping back and over a little bit to serve some unilateral work. And then from inchworms uh, to get those hamstrings woken up a little bit for the Russian swings that we're gonna endure here. So our strength piece, a little time under tension here for 30 seconds. We're just gonna hold in an upright, stable position, right? We don't wanna give in to um, gravity here or round our back or slouch. We want very good posture at the bottom of your squat, wherever that might be, okay? Um, so for instance, if we can't hold the bottom of the squat without rounding our back, maybe we squat to a bench or a chair or the couch, right? With lots of tension through our legs still, right? Just hovering right on that seat with lots of tension through your legs. The same effect is gonna happen, okay? And then uh, right after, hit those Russian swings and rest for 30 seconds. Again, remember that the Russian kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing is a leg driven exercise, right? Posterior chain. We want to load our hamstrings first. And how do we do that? We send our hips back and we keep the object close to us when we're going down, right? So we don't want to have our knees bent too much and the, and the object close to the ground. We want to keep it nice and high to our body. That way our posterior chain is going to load up instead of our quads. And then we squeeze our quads, squeeze our hips, or squeeze our glutes to make propel the, the object up in the air, right? Um, yeah, so enough of technical talk. Let's go on to alternating EMOM. So minute one, speed skaters, right? Get those hips going. Let's remember the speed skater shouldn't look like some weird object on the ground. We want a nice flat back when we do it, right? And we don't really necessarily want to round our back to reach for the floor. We want to keep that chest proud, low back intact, so lumbar curve nicely intact, right? Uh, when we reach for the floor. So that means we have to bend and use our legs to do this movement, okay? 30 jackknives. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do alternating, sorry, um, yeah, alternating hand, alternating foot for the uh, 30 reps. If we can't do the 30 reps, maybe we knock it down by fives at a time until we find the right um, stimulus for us, okay? Uh, we want at least 20 seconds rest between movements, okay? And then we got 40 double unders. Now I know a lot of people aren't doing double unders, so we can do toe taps. And to re replicate some shoulder fatigue, we can have our arms stretched out. Uh, to our sides, locked out at the elbow, and we can keep our thumbs up so we can keep our, ro our shoulders rotated back, all right? And then everyone knows how to rest. We just rest for 30 seconds, or a minute, and then we go back to the top, all right? So have fun with it. Good little workout. Lots of leg action. Let's have some fun.